Yo, what's going on guys? Bobby over here and today we have another great video for you guys. So we haven't done something like this in a while as you guys can see on your screen. We currently have a rank 35 barley. Now it's been a little bit of time since we've done a rank 35 video. You know, there's been a, about a month, you know, of changes and just stuff was going on. So we haven't really had the time to just push a rank 35. But finally we got one done and we have a video for you guys today. So we have five games on barley. If you guys watched yesterday's video, I believe I ranked Barley either 6 or 7 out of the current Brawlers in the meta. So Barley is really good right now. We're going to show you guys a little bit of gameplay. And some of it is actually against the current number one player in the world. So make sure you guys are watching. But with that being said, we're going to hop into some games. We're going to show you guys three different modes, which we're pushing Barley in all above rank 35. So we're facing really good opponents. And I'm going to show you guys just how good Barley is, how dominant it is, and how to properly play it. So with that being said, let's hop into the games and let's get into it. All right, so here we go into our first siege game now unfortunately i had two for you guys but the other one the replay isn't working i don't know why replays sometimes don't work but it is what it is so this game we're playing with lukey bear and seabass lukey's going to be on the sprout seabass is going to be on the spike and what we're going to be doing is basically holding down a lane so when you're playing barley if you have gadget and you're playing siege the first thing you want to do at the start of every single game is pop that gadget you also want to make sure you're trying to get at least two don't use the gadget if it's just on yourself you want to use at least two or three of your uh of your teammates so all of you can be in the gadget for maximum value reason you do this is so that you know your brawlers can tank a little bit of shots because the first bot is very important the first bot kind of decides how the rest of the game goes you can either go all in and just all die and do a ton of damage and give up second bot or you can try and maintain control and hold for hold for the second bot so that's what we're doing right here you know we decided to do a fair amount of damage we didn't go all in and now we're going to try and hold for a second but that gadget is going to give you guys control since you do have that additional hp now on top of that you know you guys can see we're just winning control over here it's really easy for barley to win control especially if you have star power and gadget because you're just gaining health all throughout the game by just playing the game you don't have to just heal up you're just as you guys can see i'm spamming shots i haven't healed up one time i've been hit many times and i'm still full health now in siege something you can do if you win lane and you have super and you feel confident about winning lane is just chucking your super onto the siege you're going to do about 11 to 13 percent i don't know what the exact number is at the moment and you know that's really good damage helps out a lot with your push so you guys can see all we need to do here is 34 percent they defend really well we don't even touch the safe until 20 percent is left but me and luke here are just going to chuck some shots onto the safe and get that really easy win now that's how you play barley in siege kind of in a nutshell it's really easy to be honest and you guys can see we faced very good opponent so it wasn't any type of walkthrough wasn't any walk in the park but you know this is definitely probably barley's best mode along with heist so i would definitely recommend pushing in one of these two modes but that being said we're going to hop into the next mode and we're going to show you guys how to play barley in gem grab so here we go into the first gem grab game now this is a little bit of a different mode than what barley usually plays in because barley what you're normally doing is trying to just hold down an area and getting your super and supering onto an object to deal a lot of damage that's not really what you're doing here as well as the fact this heist and siege are very control based game modes i mean so is gem but it's more you know holding down a lane you're holding down your lane whatever so we're going to be laned up here against the tara now on this map it's a really good barley map you guys can tell why you know the lanes have walls so it's super easy for us just to back up that tara you guys can see the tara has no way of hitting us the tara does come anywhere close to us we're just going to go on the other side of that wall and you guys can see i'm using my gadgets to give myself and lukey bear health now i'm not really using or focusing too much on myself since you know it's a pretty easy lane to win and there's a few gem maps like this where there's just no way that you can beat a good barley so you shouldn't really be focusing your gadget on yourself but more your teammate you guys can see Luki's a little bit low, so I think I might pop Gadget here. I'm not too sure. I win my lane really easily. I don't even think I've been hit yet this game. And I'm just going to, you know, kill the mid and really trap that spike, which obviously is going to help with the team a lot and eventually kill it. Now, I have a much more aggro position since everyone's dead. I'm going to be up on that further, you know, upper right wall and just, you know, chucking shots over that wall. And again, the spike spins. There's no way for a spike to beat a Barley on lane. That just doesn't happen ever. Um, so we're going to be able to get that really easy gem win again This is a really good map for barley There's a lot of really good map for barley's and gem even though barley isn't you know Maybe a top 10 gem brawler there are a few maps and a few lanes where barley does really work So we're gonna hop into the next game We're gonna show you guys a different matchup and let's show you guys what's up So hopping into this next one. It's a very similar comp actually it might even be the same comp uh, but the lanes are going to be different, so I'm going to be laning a spike this time. Now, they are playing kind of the meta comp for this map, so Barley actually does do really well against the meta on this map. 
But basically our goal is to try and stay as far away from the spike as possible and basically just try and zone it off. As you guys can see, I'm playing really aggro here. The spike hasn't even been able to enter the bush, and that's kind of our goal is not to let that spike near the bush. Our teammate in Luki was low, so we gave him the gadget. Now spike is getting close. He does hit up hit us once, so he is feeling a little bit more confident about laning. Um, but yeah, he's gonna go in there, but you know, he can't really even get up to my half of the wall even because there's just nowhere you can go now i should have been able to get that kill on him unfortunately i wasn't able to i'm just going to super off that mid to keep the bow away from us so that luki can help me with the pinch but again i'm not going down i've missed a couple shots here and the spike has hit me a few times definitely better than the tara has done but you know there's no really threat to me going down as long as i play this slowly i let things happen so i'm just chilling over here letting the spike come to me no point for me to go aggressive i'm just going to super that mid so that the bow can't hurt my my mid luki because i can go down that's whatever but our mid in luki cannot go down or we're going to lose the game i'm able to kill the spike and again really easy you just want to hold your position with barley kind of just want to chill and support your teammates you don't necessarily need to super your lane you can super the mid instead because that has a lot of value but again, really easy matchup. You counter a lot with Barley, especially in this current meta. So I would highly recommend playing it in gem maps where you think Barley would be good. But that's going to be it for gem. We're going to hop into our last match. I know we've only had three matches so far. That's because the replays, for whatever reason, aren't working. This one's going to be a really good one. It's going to be against the world number one player at the moment. So let's hop into the game and let's show you guys what's up. So here we go into our Brawl Ball game. So it's actually the world number one and world number two, Tom and Spen. Two very good players, you know, they have YouTube channels, check them out, you guys already know this though. Um, so I'm going to be laying up against another Barley. Now on Super Stadium, you guys can tell straight off the bat that there are walls here, so it's going to be really easy for Barley to, you know, win a lane. Now unfortunately, I am facing another Barley, so it's not like I'm just going to be able to run through it. It's going to be a little bit harder. You guys can see I have really easy control. So what you want to be able to do on this map is kind of just chuck shots over that wall, not give up the grass because the grass is the alpha positioning on this map. You know, especially on that left side, you guys can see how it's shaped. On the right side, not so much, but Barley is even good on the right side since you can just shoot over the walls. But once you give up that grass, you, you know, he's hiding in an area and you don't necessarily know where he is. So it's not too easy to score. But at this point, we kind of have them trapped a little bit. So this is where Barley really pops off is when they're trapped. Now, I am going to say Spen is playing Anita, and Nita is perhaps the weakest brawler in the current meta. Might be the 39 out of 39th brawler, and has been for a little bit. So, you know, I do feel a little bit bad for Spen right here. You know, we are playing three potentially, you know, top six brawlers in the game. So, it's a little bit of a toxic matchup for these guys. But basically, what you're going to want to do with Barley is just keep them as trapped as possible. You don't want to allow them to have any space. As soon as they come out, you know, you just want to start chucking them with shots. And that's exactly what myself, Luki, and Seabass are doing. And, you know, once I get my super, I don't want to just hold on to it forever. So I'm just going to chuck it into their corner. It's going to help a lot with area denial. They're not going to be able to walk into those areas. And we're going to be able to get really easy kills. Now, you guys can see we've all been alive the entire game. Now, the issue with our comp is that we can't actually get the ball that's in the corner. Now, they smartly put the ball in the corner. Because they have an 8-bit, you know, they have, I mean, the Nita doesn't really do anything, but they have an 8-bit. So we can't really just go into that corner and just take out the ball. Because if we do, the 8-bit's going to be like, yo, I'm an 8-bit. You're not allowed to do that and just absolutely drill us. Especially since they do have that turret in spawn that we can't really touch right now unless we go really aggro. So they're just waiting it out for an overtime moment. Now, it's basically been the same thing for like two and a half minutes. Just them coming out of spawn, trying to shoot us, us shooting them. And that's just about it. You know, there's also server delay, so this game was kind of wild, to be honest. Um, but we are just shooting Tom right now. They are stalling it out for overtime. We're able to get a kill. Barley does waste the gadget, which is really good for us. And now I have my super, which is really good. I'm going to, you know, shoot that. We're going to be able to kill Spen. Their Barley is going to be backed up. Pretty good super over there. Good area denial by their spike. But here comes overtime, and that's kind of what they were waiting for. 8-bit being the best brawler in overtime is going to be a really big issue for us, especially since we're double throw or spike. We're really squishy. Uh, we're trying to get that ball, but we just don't have the HP to go over and get that ball. There's no way that we can actually do it. And Tom is just out here, you know, being Tom. He's drilling everyone, you know, he's not letting anybody live. Their Barley has super, so it actually gets to a really dangerous spot for us. I'm going to super just that mid type of area, but the main part was trying to take out that 8-bit turret because Tom is just so dangerous with that 8-bit turret. 8-bit is so good in overtime with it. So immediately what we're going to do is try and take it out. 20 seconds left in the game. They definitely have a better overtime comp, you know, besides the Nita, because again, Nita is kind of a useless brawler. I feel bad for Spen. Um, but, you know, they have a really good chance to score here. Tom is clipping. He's going to be able to take down Spike. It's just going to be myself and Luki. 
And we're not really hitting the barley over here um, because we think he's going to pass the ball. So he's going to try and walk it up. He's not going to shoot it, not going to do anything. He probably should have passed it to Tom. But Seabass is going to be able to clear that ball and we're going to actually have a tie. So that was kind of a wild, you know, three and a half minute game right there. But that is going to be it. Um, so, you know, GG's to them, GG's to everyone we played. But that's going to be it for the rank 35 barley video. So if you guys enjoyed, you already know what to do. Like, subscribe, comment, do all that. But that's going to be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, you know, I already said what to do. So I'm not going to say it a second time. So see you guys. I will see you guys tomorrow. And yeah, peace out.